So the logo of our ministry really came at a really funny time because as I was in this process of, of getting out of prison and I was in the halfway house and I was still journaling and, and sitting with the Lord and just trying to be Jesus wherever I went, in my morning quiet time, God tells me to start the first portal, he called it, which was sterlingharris.org. He said, this is going to be the first portal of the ministry that I'm going to have you do. And I said, okay. So I just wrote that down. And a couple of months later, when I was able to, he was like, okay, now I'm going to show you, now I'm going to show you, go to Google. I'm going to show you who is going to create your website. But at this time, I don't have a name for the ministry and I don't have a logo for that. I have zero. All I know is that I want to start a website called sterlingharris.org and that God's going to speak through that. And we're going to create content that are going to help people have a love relationship with Jesus and all the things that I've been learning myself personally. And that I've been preaching over the number of years, we're going to put on this website. So he leads me to the lady that does our website and, and, I, and I tell her this situation. And so it was like the night or two before she was going to begin to create it. And I had some content from sermons and, 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 and things I had done. But she was like, okay, well, what is the name of the ministry? And I said, well, I don't know. <laughs> she said, well, what is your logo? What are your colors? I, well, I don't know that either. And so I get off the phone and I'm just sitting there with the Lord and I'm just saying, okay, God, what is the name of this ministry? And I'm expecting to like see something or experience something. And he brings to my remembrance these sheets that I did a couple of months before I got out of prison. I did these sheets where it had short term, long term, and real long term goals. And because I didn't know the name of the ministry, I just wrote Sterling Harris Ministries at the top of it. <laughs> I always kind of get emotional when I when I tell this, but and so I said, well, God, I can't name the ministry after myself. That's like prideful. And he goes, Sterling, your name was tarnished. You were in a situation that was very unjust. He said, son, I'm going to redeem your name. And when he said that, it was like electricity and power and love shot through my body. And I just... I knew that I was just hearing the Lord on that. And I said, okay, God, thank you. And I just wept and I cried and I thanked God for that, that he was redeeming the name and the things that had been done to me. And then I said, okay, God, what do you want the logo to look like? And I began just get on my knees and I was just praying and praying and praying um, and waiting on the Lord. And so many times in my life, I ne never waited on God to speak to me. So I would pray and then I would wait, pray and wait. and then. This vision began to happen in my mind. My mind's eye, God showed me a picture of what is now. It first started as a heart-shaped globe. And then I saw this, this tree in the middle with these roots and these, this stream of water. And I drew it in my little archaic stick figure type figurines. He gave me a scripture for everything that I was seeing. As I saw the, the icon, he, he gave me like the, the white leaves are for the healing of the nations. And the roots is when you're rooted and grounded in righteousness. The tree is the oak of righteousness in Isaiah 61. The river stands for the washing of the water of the word, for the power of the Holy Spirit, and for the water of repentance, for the baptism of Jesus. And then the globe stands for, the heart-shaped globe stands for having the world coming to know Jesus intimately and having a love relationship with God worldwide and so all these things he began to show me and he would just as he showed them to me I just thought of pieces of scriptures I didn't know the some of them I, I wasn't even sure that they were where they were in the Bible or if they were even in the Bible but they sounded like scriptures in my mind and so that's actually how we came to have the logo to have the website and to have the actual name of the ministry